You're watching Death Mentor, an assassin's survival guide. Today we're talking about surveillance and tactics. This is a little bit longer episode than I typically do with Death Mentor, but this is an episode that's going to sort of pull together a lot of the things that we've learned so far. Today we are near Robber's Gorge, and this is what we're going to do. We're going to attack Robber's Gorge. I've been doing surveillance on Robber's Gorge for, mm, I don't know, a little while now. I spent a better part of the day kind of climbing the rocks around that area and just observing from afar. I also used Aura Whisper to try to figure out how many targets were inside the walls. Our objective here is we are essentially going to eliminate all of the bandits inside Robber's Gorge. We're going to try to do it as efficiently as we possibly can, as quickly as we possibly can, and we are going to try to ensure that we don't take any damage in the process or even get within arm's length of these guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the high ground, and from the high ground I'll be able to see down into the compound, and we can put together a quick strategy for how we're going to start our attack. Using Aura Whisper, I can actually make sure that the area at my flank is clear of enemies. You can never be sure. Before you attack an encampment like this, you want to make sure that your flanks are covered, your retreat paths are open, that you have options, right? So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of combing this meadow to make sure that the heat signatures I'm seeing are heat signatures I'm okay with being there. I see something down there that's making me a little nervous. So I just zoom in and I can see right now that it's Maik. Maik and I go way back, so I'm not concerned about him. So here we've got a, a good view of Robber's Gorge. And using Aura Whisper, I can sort of you know, quickly get a count of heat signatures. Um, from my vantage point here, I can see at least five. Granted, my Aura Whisper is... I only have one word for that shout, so I don't think it's as strong as, as it could be. It's certainly... the duration isn't there, but I think there are heat signatures that escape my view, too. I think that range might be affected there as well. So I see a sentry on a walkway. In fact, I see two sentries. They're both on the same side of the walkway. There's one below us. We're staying out of his sight line. We're going to take this shot. Okay, there's one eliminated. Now you can see the heat signature below us. He's running forward because he heard a sound, but he's not in our sight line, so he's not going to spot us. It's not going to be long for sentry number two here settles down, and we can take a pot shot at him before he sits back in his chair. Okay, my general strategy here is I could drop down into the compound, but I am not a close quarters guy, so that would essentially be a suicide for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the outside edges of the compound, I'm going to secure the bridge, and then I'm going to take the bridge across and come in from the top side and ambush the people inside. Let's take this guy outside the door. Now the reason I've positioned myself up here is because tactically it's a great lookout spot. I can see everybody. See, I see at least one, two signatures inside, but I see a sentry down here on the end that we've isolated. But not only is it a good vantage point, but understanding what I, what I do about being an archer in this game, I know that it's always better for me to take shots that are parallel with the ground as opposed to sloping shots either up or down. So being on that outcropping put me kind of uh, at level with my targets. So we use misdirection to draw the sentry out, and we put one in her before she has a time to uh, raise an alarm. Now we've essentially secured the bridge. We've secured the entrance to the bridge. We've secured the top of the bridge. Both sentries we know are down. That leaves us at least two, maybe three targets inside the compound. We've also eliminated the guard outside the door, so if we need to use that as an escape route in a pinch, we know that we aren't going to meet any resistance there. Look at that. Now that's a pretty good shot, right in the brain pan from quite a long ways off. And, and one thing that I want to point out here, you'll notice that I'm using my um, 
Elven Bow. I have actually gone back to my Elven Bow from Ariel's Bow because of the range and the power. I've determined that after some evaluation, that Ariel's bow is extremely powerful, but it seems to me to be more of a close quarters weapon, and it's the ideal weapon for in the barrows, but it's not good for outside shooting because the trajectory of the arrows is, is too short. Okay, we've got two targets here. This is a little risky shot. I could bounce off the geometry, but I'm going to take it anyway. I think I can thread the needle here. Yeah. All right, right in there. Now that shot, okay, we see our second target is, is stirring. We let him get outside the tent where we got a clean shot, down in one. That leaves us one target left. That's the bandit chief. I'm going to put one into this dummy over here and see if the sound draws him out. It doesn't, so I'm going to try to get a better vantage point. I think I can see him. Yeah, okay. We've got a heat signature here. There, part, part of him is exposed from around the corner of the wall there. So there's an opportunity here to once again thread the needle. We, we can risk possibility of bouncing something off the geometry. There it is. We very quickly and quietly and efficiently eliminated all the bandits in this encampment without ever really putting ourselves at significant risk. All of these shots were long range shots. We secured our entrance. We secured our escape route. And then once we got into the con confined space of the compound itself inside the walls where things are a bit more dangerous for us range people, we had things firmly under control and uh, all of our escape routes secured. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you found it useful. I'll catch you for the next Death Mentor. You've been watching Death Mentor, an Assassin's Survival Guide. Please rate, like, and subscribe. It helps me a lot. And you can get updates on this series on the website at couchwarrior.tv or follow on Twitter at couchwarriortv. Thank you.